Hey everybody, Dinita here and welcome to my healthy mukbang where we enjoy tasty healthy food in abundance and promote good eating habits along the way. So I have made this very nice keto pizza here which has almost zero carbs because the dough is made simply from egg whites and almond flour and so like the ingredients themselves are also very low carbs so you can enjoy this pizza on a keto in like huge amounts if you want I also have my low calorie sauces here which I prefer most of them I make myself but this one is actually pot Walton Farms is a good brand they make sauces without carbohydrates which are really great and like really good because you can add them to any diet and I have my donut kebab chicken with a salad so I have my chicken here and I have my salad which goes with it and I also have some ice cream in the fridge because I don't want to take it out here don't want to make it melted by the time we get to it so so many tasty stuff here can't wait to dive right in but first things first is my prayer and affirmations ritual Господи, благодарю тебя за всё. Слава тебе, Господи, за эту жизнь. Благодарю тебя, Господи, за прекрасную жизнь, за прекрасную возможность. Сейчас эта пища будет на благо мне и моему телу. Вот мне сильных мышц, значит, они живут на моей возрастной расстоянии. Сильные мне мышцы Христа, они меня мышцы, потому что питают меня мышцы Христа. Они уже выходят на мышцы Христа. Они огромные. Слава тебе, Господи. All right. So this little feast right here is about 1,000 calories only. You know, there's so much food. So let's get to it. It's very important to actually like tune in to eating food. Like have a certain ritual which you do before you start eating. It's really gonna like if you don't do it yet if you're not doing it right now, just try doing it. It's gonna improve your pleasure from eating so much. Just because it's so awesome. Like, so many people, they run somewhere, they eat on the go, like running somewhere, putting stuff in their mouth, or they like come to the table quickly, eat, run away but the food has to be an experience and the proper ritual takes you in the proper mindset to eat to appreciate the food you have to be like grateful for the experience again i'm a christian so i pray before i eat But you don't have to believe any god, any deity, any deity. You just have to be grateful and appreciative. Like, approach this with gratitude to wh whoever, to your creator, to the universe, to yourself. Like, I cooked this, I earned this. That's great. and just do several affirmations like affirm the food is going to be good for you it's going to be for your benefit like to the benefit of you and your body it's going to fill you with strength with energy it's going to make you successful like it it may seem like something like stupid but it works you tune your body to actually treat the food properly this way When you properly tune yourself in to appreciate the food, to like the food, you can enjoy even the food you could probably think like it's 
tasteless because like a salad if you're used to eating like those tasty fast food junk food stuff which is engineered to be like very tasty you might think this is like bland but when you really take the time to appreciate you really start to like it you notice Once you don't taste, you didn't like taste before, you notice like Oh hello disability overload, welcome back. Hello there. You notice certain tastes that were not there before. You notice like this food can also have a taste on its own. Like yesterday I forgot to put spices and uh, oil in my wife's salad and she's like oh my god it's so tasty, what did you put in it? I'm like wait. Sorry, I forgot to put anything in it. It has no salt, no pepper, no oil. She's like, oh, but it's also a good taste. Like, it tastes nice, do it again sometimes. Like, she likes the taste of the oil and the, and the salt and the sesame seed oil she enjoys a lot, but then it turns out just the vegetables without any seasoning are also great. But you have to tune yourself into the process of eating to really appreciate and enjoy it, to really like feel this. If you're on the go, on the run, it won't happen. And having a ritual makes sure, like, if you never let yourself eat without taking your ritual, it makes sure you put your mind into a proper space. Like, again, same ritual every time, conditions your mind like your body it's time to eat so it even improves the digestion because your body like knows okay since you're doing this food is gonna come in so we're ready for it And then you come to like when you start feeling the benefits you will never want to turn back like to the old way of eating you also notice i'm sitting on my knees it's also another thing like sitting on the floor a different posture to what you usually do so usually i stand or sit in the chair and so this way again your body your mind is ready for the food if you mostly eat this way and so you appreciate food better you digest food better you enjoy it better like so much of our lives we are running constantly like our mind somewhere else our hands here mind in the future in the past but you have to appreciate the present moment you know and rituals they help with that so let's see this experiment of mine is to keep the food hot by using a small stove. Let's see if it works. Let's try to heat this now. Let's see if it becomes hot or not. You don't have to cover with foil everything, which doesn't look sexy on the stream. you ritualize your life life really becomes so vibrant and so focused and so pleasurable like you work do a small ritual focus on work think about work like don't think about like oh soon this work will be done 
I'll have my like pleasures or whatever or rest. Focus on work full time. You can find something good in it, even if it's like a boring work. Maybe you see how this work like earns you money, which will let you eventually escape it. Or maybe you will find something you can do better at this work. Maybe get a raise later or upgrade to a new like place of work. It takes presence in the moment and rituals help a lot with that. Yeah, I don't really think it's gonna help. Maybe I can keep one dish hot, but not most of them. Eventually I'll like be a rich streamer, I can afford a proper equipment. For now, I have to work with what I have. Having rituals is like one thing that definitely works from all this self-development crap. It definitely works. It definitely makes your life better. It makes you enjoy whatever you're doing and it makes you effective at whatever you're doing. And so food is like one of the most important parts of our life because that's our sustenance, that's our nutrient. Like that's who we are, we are what we eat because that's how we reform our cells in our body from the food we take in. So it's of utmost importance to actually focus on this experience, make it work perfectly. If you ever struggle to get like to healthy eating to eat more healthy foods just figure out ways to add like sauces and spices to it like this sweet and sour sauce i make myself this barbecue sauce that Walden farms makes it makes this simple salad from parsley and tomato so delicious and no extra calories like it's almost zero calories here and it's zero calories in the Walden farm sauce and the taste is so great Yeah, it's not as good taste as like a real barbecue sauce, of course. But it's still amazing. And then your ultra low calorie salad is just so good. Like just experiment. Take the healthy base, whatever you need to add to your diet, like more greens, more salads, more like vegetables, and start to throw stuff in. Spill like in all these different kinds of stuff you can try, which are low calorie or zero calorie, or if like oils if you're keto, if you can have fats without problem. So let's see what you like. Eventually you start to love these salads and healthy foods because they are so tasty. What's not to love? Okay, let's have this chicken. This is like one of my favorite dishes of all time. I spent so much time perfecting this. You 
because I love it on the streets, but it's like inconsistent. Again, Russia, no consistency in the hospitality services. One day it's good, next day you go to a toilet for like three hours after you eat it because like something happened <laughs> and it's rotten or whatever, I don't know. Next day it's too many oil, it's like tastes off. So I went for a recipe myself and made sure I can make this dish at home. So I always have this perfect tonne kebab chicken. This is so delicious. And simple too. Like at first I was looking for these recipes. Like typically, this is cooked on a skewer, so there's like a skewer and the meat is on the skewer and it's a grill at the side which burns the meat, but they try to do it at home, try to replicate it, like they try to um, take a half an onion, take a skewer from wood into it, pierce the onion, put the meat on top, put it in the oven, wait for one hour and a half, cut the sides, wait more. Like it's not, it's not, it's not convenient. It's not like it's not good. It's not convenient at home to do this. You have to prep it in an hour and a half in advance before you have to eat, and then wait half an hour more to eat the remains. Just roast it and fry it instead. Quick, easy. You can roast it in advance, like all of it, in a batch, and then just fry the amount you need to eat. The frying will take like two minutes because it's already cooked. And so when you want to eat a portion of the kebab, you just fry it, it's done. Yum, yeah. And the recipe is so simple too, just cut the chicken and then for about 600 grams of chicken, you put one tablespoon each vinegar, oil, uh, liquid smoke, and some sauce like tomato sauce, whatever. Liquid smoke, my liquid smoke, my like, the one I use is one tablespoon, but maybe you will have to adjust. But for me, it's like a very simple way that it's one tablespoon each oil, vinegar, liquid smoke, and sauce, like soy sauce, tomato sauce, something, tomato paste. And then it's half tablespoon salt and two tablespoons of your spice of choice. In St. Petersburg, I reverse engineered, like tasted several times to figure out what the spice mix is. It's mostly like some sort of curry, some sort of pepper, uh, paprika, smoked paprika, and coriander, uh, cinnamon, cloves, something like that. So it's a lot of turmeric, a lot of like coriander, and then other stuff. I make my own mix now and of course the garlic like a lot of garlic or pure garlic like fresh garlic or the spice I use the spice again because home cook food should be quick and easy like you shouldn't have to spend like ages to cook something you should spend like a little bit of time and have a lot of food especially if you're going for low calorie, like I do. Because you have to like still cook your calorie allowance for the day. So when you're like cooking like a chef at home, yeah, sure, you can have these nice looking dishes, like this nice salad, which looks amazing, which is like a, a masterpiece. But it's like 100, 200 calories in it. Okay, you need 10 dishes like this to feed yourself for the day. So, how much time do you have to cook them all? And 
and when you go for speed and simplicity, you find you don't have to compromise on taste, really. Like there are some dishes you have to make slowly, but most dishes you can find a quick version, which is as good. And you always want to simplify to make it faster, easier, like remove unnecessary ingredients, unnecessary steps. Like the low-fat mayonnaise today, recipe says, okay, add the Greek yogurt last, but I try to add all in together, it works. Why add it last? Just add everything together. Save time. Okay, I want some more sauce here. This sauce is so tasty. Let me get it quickly. Some leftover sauce here. It's so tasty. I want to have some more of it with my chicken. And so yeah, especially if you're trying to diet, to cook like low calorie foods, you have to cook them in an efficient manner, so it like takes a little time to cook a lot of food. And that's what I want to share with you guys on this channel, that you can really like enjoy your favorite meals on any diet and cook them quickly at home for yourself and just, you don't have to abstain from anything. Like you don't have to abstain from sweets on keto. You don't have to abstain from pizza on keto. Have your pizza. Have your burgers. Just learn to make them without carbohydrates if you're keto. Or like if you are low calorie, make a low calorie pizza. That's hard, I admit. You have to go creative with the dough and with the sauce, with the cheese like use some low fat cheese, which actually like tastes good. Mm, for the shawarma, for the donut kebab, I assume. Uh, this sauce is very simple. It's again, I reverse engineered what they make, mm, like uh, what they make in, uh, what they use in Russia in shawarma joints, tonal kebab joints. And I just basically bought a lot of different ones, found the one I like the most. Then I bought a lot of ingredients and just tasted and tasted them, mixed and matched them like for like several hours and I found the recipe. For me, the recipe found, turned out to be very simple. It's basically two portions mayonnaise to one portion sour cream. And this works about the same, both for high fat and low fat mayonnaise. So you can mix like high fat sour cream, high fat mayonnaise, or low fat sour cream, low fat mayonnaise. Tastes relatively the same. As long as it's not like ridiculously low fat. Like as long as the sour cream is like 20%, 15%, 10%, and the mayonnaise is like 25%, uh, 40%, it's fine. And it tastes just right. Then you add some spices to it if you want. I add a little bit of spice, I add a little bit of uh, liquid smoke, I add a little bit of salt, but even without it, it's quite tasty. And so it's really like a very simple, it turned out, because the internet is full of recipes. Like in Russia, it's all like copy-paste articles, there's like 100 recipes, all basically almost the same, but changed the order of the ingredients or something. I tried them all, and this is like the simple one which works. That's my preference, of course. Some joints, they make it on kefir, so it's like more liquid, like the sauce actually is like, like a yogurt in consistency. 
Some joints like to do it this way, and some people like that kind of sauce. I find it doesn't work. Other was when I was talking about the pizza, like how you can try to make it low calorie. Yeah, so um, with the sauce, uh, we make the liquid sauce, but then I find it doesn't work because often they serve this dish on the same plate. So it's the vegetables and the chicken and the sauce. And the vegetables are like liquid because they have this tomato, cucumber, they give off the juice. So there's already some liquid stuff in the plate. Then the sauce is also liquid, so it dilutes and you have this like stuff soaking in like water which tastes like a sauce. It's, it's, it's nasty, it's not tasty. So I prefer this sauce which is like thick, which like holds its form, its shape, which you can put on the fork like this. Mm. I need to change this setup. You can't really see my food well. This is not good for a mukbang. Well, I'll improve. I'll improve. And again, what's great is that it's almost as tasty when it's low fat compared to high fat. So when it's 66% fat mayonnaise, 25% fat sour cream, or it's 20% fat mayonnaise and 10% fat sour cream, the difference is obviously like almost three times in fat amount. in like 2.5 times in calories, it still tastes amazing. It still holds shape, this sauce, and it has this like bland taste which complements the spicy chicken really well. Even better if the chicken is like hot, the sauce is cold, this nice contrast on your tongue, on your mouth, it's really delicious. And again, if on diet, Use just chicken breast, roast it, don't fry it, or like fry it by adding just basically only like uh, vinegar and soy sauce, which is no sugar in it, like a brand without sugar, little calories. You get some sort of crust on the chicken that way anyways. And then you have this very low fat, like lean chicken, very low calories. You have this low calorie sauce, you can enjoy so much of it and you don't get like any problems with counting calories, limiting your calories because you still ate just so little of your food limit, but you ate so much in the volume. Like for a reasonably sized man, like reasonably sized man I am, like normal weight. This is like half of my daily allowance of food, but it's so huge. It's like a huge plate of salad, a huge plate of chicken, and then a whole pizza. And I can still eat almost the same amount later if I want. So it's amazing when you learn to just remove unnecessary calories and cook it properly. It's amazing how much you can eat delicious food and still like stay lean or even lose weight if you need to. Okay, let's have this pizza. Let's see if it's hot enough. Let's see if it's good. Mmm. Well, this is delicious. 
this thing works. Like, even if you're not like shooting mukbangs, still, it's worth to have this thing on the table, just so that your hot foods are hot when you come to them. Like again, I wanna talk about this in one other episode, I guess. Like, how you should not hurry to eat, but often you hurry to eat because it'll be cold. So this thing changes everything. When you know your food is gonna be hot waiting for you. Mmm, it's so good. I used to just cover it with foil, but it doesn't really help because it still gets cold under the foil, just slowly. This is awesome. And the pizza, of course, is delicious. Like, how hard is it to stick to a diet when you can eat anything you want on your diet? Like, I'm strict keto, so I don't have more than 20 net carbs per day. And so it mostly comes from vegetables because I like to eat big volume of food and I want to get all the nutrients, all the micronutrients, vitamins, minerals. So I have to eat a lot of vegetables for that. vegetables have carbs so like most of my carb allowance goes towards vegetables but still you can make yourself pizza burgers ice cream sweets whatever there is technology now for that there are sweeteners which have low like or zero carbs or zero calories there are flowers which are like very slim in carbs and high in fats like almond flour and then you have it favorite dish adjusted to whatever diet you need. Like I admit it's harder to make a low fat pizza than to make a low carb pizza because low carb you just make sure the sauce is low carb and the dough is low carb. Dough is easy, there are many versions, sauce is also not very hard. For low fat pizza it's harder. Like, there is like a research going on right now in the food industry. They almost got it. They almost got like this kind of fat, which is not metabolized. It's like the sweetener, like the artificial sweetener. It's something sweet, but it doesn't metabolize. So it has no calories. Same with fat. They have this almost done. At least that's what I read when I studied it. And so when it's done, when it's approved for food use, we're gonna have just a heaven. Just a paradise. You'll have fats and oils which are zero calories. This is amazing. For now, you have to be creative. Find low fat cheeses that work. In baking, in like sauces, inulin, can work, it can feel like fat on your mouth, on your tongue, but it's no fat. It kind of fools you to believe you are eating something fat. But soon, when this thing is ready for consumption, it's gonna be awesome.
Okay, I'll be right back. This pizza is surprisingly low, like on the spicy end. So let's add some very hot sauce to it because I've put like a whole chili pepper in it. I've put some chili flakes in it. It's still not spicy enough. So let's have more spice in it. Tabasco, more Tabasco. Let's see if it's good now. Yeah, now it's better. Yeah, that's better. It's gonna be over soon at this rate of expenditure. Mm. This pizza is just Heaven. Granted, it's not like it's not really like the dough is not like mimicking the real dough as closely, but still you get almost the same taste without carbs, and it just takes several minutes to make. Just whisk the whites, add the flour in the pan for minutes done toppings oven done so awesome Usually you have to knead the dough, like mix all the ingredients in proper order. Like if you put salt on your yeast, the yeast will die. So you mix first some ingredients, then the salt, then the wet ingredients. Some wet ingredients have to go like properly, like, mm, how should I say? One moment. Uh, they have to be like properly like heated to proper temperatures for the mixture to work Then you have to knead it for like several minutes and you have to let it rest and you have to shape it so on and so forth Again home cooking should be easy Should be quick, easy, simple. Just quickly do it and enjoy. And the beauty of this is that, like, you can make ingredients for several pizzas in advance quickly make several pizzas or like store them in the fridge for tomorrow so you save even more time by doing it in bulk I will also experiment freezing the dough if it works it's gonna be even better you can freeze it when you need it, take it out of the fridge and it's done. Like with gluten-free pizzas, we do it. The dough we use for my wife when she wants a pizza. We just freeze it with the ingredients on top. And then you can thaw it, like defrost it and cook it immediately. And it's, it's ready. So you don't even have to prepare your pizza. It's like your own healthy homemade pizza. Like you bought it in the supermarket, but it's your own homemade. Got proper ingredients in it. Tasty, delicious.
it's all good. This pizza, it's all good. I'm going to be making more of it, definitely. And now, thanks to this sauce, it's properly spicy and hot. What can I say? I'll try two peppers next, maybe more. So it's naturally hot without any sauce. Yeah, I have to improve this camera layout so I can show you the deliciousness of what's consumed because right now I see it's not really close to the camera enough oh man this pizza Just paradise, just heaven. Let's see what happens if we add the sauce in. Just curious. No, that's not working for me. Now, now it's spicy. Now it's spicy, all right. And this appliance is just a game changer. Like it's just five bucks, but the pleasure of eating hot pizza all the way through even though it's like 40 seconds 40 minutes past already it's amazing still hot delicious <laughs> tasty as if just freshly off the oven out of the oven I should say Oh my god, so good. Simply the best. Too bad it's over this pizza. Hmm. Another pro tip if you're on a diet, like you have to constrict the amount of calories you eat, you have to control your food consumption. Cooking your food is a good way to do it because you cannot get more unless you go cook it. And that's an extra step you have to take to eat more food. And so that makes it easier for you to stick to your original plan. Like even if you want to binge on something, you don't have it. You have to cook it from scratch. And so that can stop you from like, help you control yourself. Help you say no, enough.
not that I need it because this meal is so filling and it's only like a thousand calories. It's amazing. No, this pizza is just such an experience. Ah, so good. Okay, gonna go get the dessert from the fridge. So as I said, this ice cream is like literally 20 30 calories per this thing it's delicious you can enjoy it very slowly like very slowly and it's so tasty so delicious basically it tastes whatever you damn please it tastes because you choose your flavors you can add whatever to it this one didn't turn out as I said because I don't have air at all so it's kind of half ice cream half ice but when it is done according to the recipe it's really good because it's like it's eaten so slowly it slowly melts in your mouth and so you have this sensation of eating ice cream but you consume so little of it at once and whatever you consume is also so little calories because it's mostly almond milk, zero calorie sweetener, zero calorie like inulin, almost zero calorie. A little bit of fat, like one gram in the almond milk, a bit of fat in the yolk, which is like one yolk per all these seven or eight sticks of ice cream. and some protein in the whey protein powder. But overall it's so good. You just can relax and enjoy your ice cream and the calories are insignificant for what you consume. And again, you can make whatever you want. Like you can make a huge like pot of it, split it, and mix different flavors into different pots, different colors. And then you have like again quickly you can cook like some ice cream for like several weeks and have the variety, like strawberry one, kiwi, apple, like watermelon, whatever you prefer. the same base and then you add the flavors, colors and it's different kind of ice cream. And with ice cream again, it doesn't set as quickly, it doesn't like become solid, so you have plenty of time to mix every batch, pour every batch into the forms, so easy. Like with marmalade, you have to actually quickly pour it into the forms because it sets very quickly, agar agar in the marmalade. But with ice cream, it's so easy. Like if this would be normal ice cream, it would be like 
more quickly eaten because it will melt quickly and it will be less hard and it would be like a hundred something 200 calories in one such thing like this eat however much you want I only have one unfortunately because it takes like a day to properly freeze Tomorrow I can have a lot of it. And that's what I have. My wife asks if like the background is okay. <laughs> yeah, the background is shit. This is like grassroots, like beginner streamer. I have to walk do what I have to do. Like this flat has only one room. We have to live in it for like a week for now with my wife. So you are fine. My wife doesn't know English, so she thinks I'm bad mouthing her, which I'm not. Yeah. I will squeeze the most out of this setup, but back home I will be properly set up to have like a good quality of streaming, good quality videos. For now, have to do, have to do. It kind of falls in the flakes, like these flows of ice inside it, because there is not enough earth at all in it to have a consistency. But maybe I should just buy earth at all here. It's just that in Russia, earth at all is so expensive for some reason. Like they sell it in shops like for four times, five times the price. I got a bag of it, like 25 kilogram bag for normal price, but at the shop it would be like. A small amount of it would be like extremely expensive. Oh, hello, bacon sushi. Uh, nice to have you back. The stream format kind of changed. Now it's both cooking and eating. Unfortunately, it's kind of the end of this one. But tomorrow I will make sure to stream again. And in a week I'll return to St. Petersburg and I will be able to stream regularly. So there will be regular videos. <coughs> regular videos, if I can speak English, please. And regular streams, four times a week. I'm gonna spread the love for food. Because enjoying healthy food is amazing. Too bad it's gone for now, but tomorrow I'll have so much more of this. It's really amazing. Yeah, and now there's a cat in the camera. Uh, it, it legs is in, in the plate. Let's see how it... <laughs> the cat doesn't like it. We have two cats, they are very funny. Come here to me. Yeah, like this. This is a long cat. No, long cat. No, she doesn't like it. Animal abuse. Animal abuse. Call the police. <laughs> let, let's let her go. <laughs> Don't abuse the animals. Yeah, they are very funny. They like to basically kill each other randomly, like the male cat just gets something in his head and like start to basically murder the female cat for no reason like literally claw her like take pieces of hair out of her she's like screaming fighting back and then they like fall over go around and then they're like friends again eating together sleeping together and then again they fight and they stop fighting it's fun and of course they break everything and so on and so forth but since my wife loves them they don't really get punished for that so they continue doing it okay that's going to be it for the day uh, thank you very much for joining me on this program 
Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, please subscribe and leave a like for this video. It helps a lot. And then here will be a playlist where you can watch more healthy mukbang videos, which you will find interesting, I hope. Yeah, this is cringe-worthy. <coughs> I'm trying to learn this intro-outro thing. It's probably so bad. I'm gonna work on it, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the next stream and next video. Bye for now.